This year, next steps has been uh, getting the playoff. Next year is at, at least confirming us and being there. So we are in a business of results. So uh, I would say that our challenge is to uh, uh, f develop players that are going to be up to the challenge and uh, also not to be scared sometimes to play to play young players. It's a challenge that I embrace and uh, when someone from the academy makes his way on the first team we're all happy so we will try to do it but it's not that it's now that we're going to become and play we're going to play with 11 guys from the academy. You, you need to earn your spot in, the, in your team. I want to quote here something Thomas Tuchel said in a very long uh, interview and he said uh, that one things that are critical for him and that helps him to be so successful in Chelsea is that he can completely focus on the work with the players and on the pitch and he only has to to connect with uh, Marina Ganskoria and Peter Cech and uh, that this gives him the maximum of time to work on making the team better and players better and that's exactly the approach that we also have we want Wenny to give do we want Wenny to have the maximum time to work on the pitch to make the team and the players better a lot of people think it was a miracle that that we did end up making playoffs and it was nothing short of a miracle you look at the results that we that we uh that we had to pull off to, to get to the playoffs um but like i mentioned earlier there's expectation to to for us to prove next year that that wasn't just a one off that it can't just be a surprise next year that Look, that we we uh, we set a foundation, and uh, we expect to make the playoffs next year, not just by the last game of the season, but to set ourselves up for a home playoff game. No, I, I think that there's always room for improvement. I think there's always room to to get more depth, to have you know um, just kind of more of a competition at spots. I think that's what kind of brought out the best in us, you know, towards the end of the season. Uh, you know, I said this before, you know, going into trainings. Uh, when Vanny was in charge, it was you never really knew who was going to play. So those training sessions were were some of the best trainings I've ever been a part of, and that's because of the competition. That's because everybody wanted to play, and having good players all around the field and multiple options all around the field, I think that's what makes the team better. When the team's not close, when the things aren't clicking uh, off the field, I think it definitely shows on the field, whether it be tension in the locker room, whatever it may be. But having a group of guys that really enjoy spending time together. Uh, Everyone hangs out, laughs, has a good time, jokes with each other. There's no no clicks in the locker room. So I think it shows on the field in, in that sense because you see us and you see the way we play. Everyone's bought into the message. Everyone's playing together. And I think it's a, a real good group we have.